part of the work that we do as light workers is channel. We channel information from source. And when we are an open channel, which means that we have unblocked ourselves from the limited belief that we are not channels of light, then we can really give proper messages to our friends, our family, our clients. And most importantly, those messages come from the highest aspect of source when it comes for ourselves, whenever we need something, whenever we need answers. One of the things that I know that I struggle with a lot was that I, every time I needed some type of answer or when I was feeling some kind of type of frustrated or when I needed answers right away, the first thing that I would do is that I would call my friend who's a psychic or I will call one of my friends who um, also did SRT or I will always try to find someone to give me the answers, to give me all that I needed because I didn't trust my own guidance. I didn't trust my own divineness. And in this training that I'm doing, the spiritual coaching training, where you'll be certified as a spiritual coach, a healer with the Divine Temple University, um, you will really dive deep into channeling because channeling is something beautiful when it's done properly. When you open the Akashic records and you channel from that place and you ask your own guidance, your own team, your own high self committee team to guide you and to help you connect with other light beings, then you can really deliver the highest message for the individual. The beauty about my one-on-one -on -one sessions is that I really don't know what's going to happen each session. I literally go as an empty vessel and I allow myself to be filled with the divine energy of the Holy Spirit, with the divine energy of God. And through um, whatever happens through the sessions, it could be a clearing, it could be the person needed um, a, a movement with their, their family members, a mother or father, I, I don't know. But I go with that intention and the miracles and the transformations that I see see it's unbelievable to me it's unbelievable so channeling is part of that because when you trust your own inner guidance you know these messages come through visions come through um voice the holy spirit speaks, speaks to everyone it's are you open to listen are you open to listen to these messages so Channeling is a part of the work that we do as light healers, but most of us don't trust that inner guidance. And that's why loving yourself, trusting yourself at every, any spiritual path is the first thing that one must do. Because when we trust ourselves, when we trust our inner guidance, when we trust that the messages that we're getting are real and that God is speaking to us, it, it is unbelievable the things that we'll be able to do the guidance that we'll be able to, to get. I remember um, something that the Reverend from the church that I used to go to before, I mention her a lot because I used to love her so much, but um, she said something so, um, so beautiful in one of the services, which was that there was this one girl who plays the piano and she plays the, uh, will play the piano and, and will come up with all these beautiful melodies and things that she couldn't even imagine that she did. And they'll ask her like, how did you come up with that? And she will say like, I don't know. I just sit down and I would just start playing. And she said, she imagined like these, um, light beings and music musicians all sitting in a table and actually just giving her all the information. So that's how we channel in information. We literally have a committee, a team of of, of our highest self. So this that high self aspect of who we are. And then we have a team. Each one of us has a team. And that team delivers the messages to us when we are the clearest channel to receive the messages. Because what could happen is that the message could be a little too big for our little mind to comprehend. Our mind always gets in the way. So the more we start trusting our inner guidance, the more we trust when we get a message from God or when our intuition tells us that's not right, don't do that, and then we don't do it, and then we see that that was the right path to do. And then we are channeling information. 
because we can channel negative information and we can channel positive information. We can be in a field of negative information or we can be in a field of positive information. Remember the last video I talked about the, field, the fields and how we connect to different types of fields? It's the same thing. We can channel different type of information and be in a clear vessel, trusting our own inner compass, trusting our own high self and our committees. We are connecting to that quantum field, that divine energy, which is also the Akashic records. We're connecting to that. The thing is that long before, you know, when everything was a secret, the Akashic records were also a secret. Not a lot of people were allowed to actually know this information because now if you knew this information, then you, some people used it for bad and some used it for good. So it was really hidden. And now we're in the age of the Aquarian age where everyone is, I mean, it's the age of information. Everyone can align themselves to this. You have that opportunity to be vibrating at a very high level. You have the opportunity in this lifetime to clear any karma, to actually align yourself to your highest path and be in that alignment of spirit. You can attract all the things that you want in your life. It could be aligned to happiness, to joy, to good relationships, to opportunities. Because there's always going to be something in the road that's going to stop you from proceeding forward. But it's going to be your mindset and what you're vibrating that's actually going to pull you through any situation. We will see everything as miracles. Remember I said this? That miracles will no longer be miracles. It would just be a way of living because everything would just be vibrating how it needs to vibrate. Everything will be aligning for our favor. And this is part of the work that we're meant to here to do, to be that channel of light, to live in the highest vibration, to be aligned with spirit, to surrender each moment to love. Each moment we surrender to love. Each moment we allow the divine energy of God to flow through us. But because when we allow spirit to flow through us, everything clears. Our life becomes better. And that's where we want to be. We want to be in that place of allowing opportunities. If we don't allow opportunities to come in our life, if we're constantly focusing on the negative, focusing, focusing on the negative, we're now allowing opportunities to come in. This is not spiritual bypass. Remember, this is, this is about changing our mindset, seeing things differently, allowing ourselves to see the greater the greatest lesson and see it and say, okay, I get it. It is time for me to move on. It is time for me to open the doors of endless possibilities because when the doors open, miracles will happen. I will get the job. I will get the opportunities that I want. I would conquer. I will be successful. I will be happy. It will all align in your life. So trusting oneself, channeling that information, the best information, and knowing that we are that divine spark of God. Yeah, we are. That's what we are. So in this spiritual coaching program, the link is in my bio, or you can just go to the divinetempleuniversity.com and you will find all the information that you not need for this course because one of the major the main things that we are going to dive deep it is channeling and it's the Akashic records and it's how to um, know and get the best information always from the highest energy of source because sometimes there's spirits and there's dark energies that fool themselves and they dress themselves as light. And then we can definitely be fooled by the energy or the information that we are channeling. So this is why when we're doing the work that we're doing, we're doing it from the highest vibration. And that is coming from the Akashic Records. So I invite you, if you have any questions, you can direct message me. I am here for you and to speak to you of any regards and visit our website, the Divine, Temple, the Divine Temple University. We also have consulting for businesses and we have a whole program for business um, with organizational skills and setting good intentions for our businesses. I love you. I'm Reverend Nam Shakti and I just love you. Kisses.